Good evening, everyone. I'm guessing Mother Nature was diametrically opposed to sunshine and brought us all of this today. A lot of gray sky after the rain, a little bit of mist that persisted into part of the afternoon and cooler weather with an east wind right now at about 5 to 10. Our current temperature outside sits at 66 degrees under gray skies. The barometric pressure trying to rise a little bit after the cold front or the showers and thunderstorms went through. Hey, look at this tonight. No risk of severe weather. General thunderstorms, yes, but it doesn't look like we have much of a risk of large hail, damaging winds, or even tornadoes or anything like that. There will be a couple of showers and thunderstorms associated with this area of rain out here to the northwest of the Metroplex. I think they're going to follow the upper level winds and just kind of brush an area around, let's say, the Arklatex, Interstate 30, down to Interstate 20, and that's about it. So the coverage is only about 40 to maybe 50 percent of us. So overnight tonight, mainly north, couple of showers, couple of thunderstorms. Meantime, deep east Texas should stay cloudy and cool. Can't rule out a couple of sprinkles. We're seeing a couple of those right now on radar, but overnight lows generally in the low to mid 50s across the area. Future skycast starting tomorrow morning with the cloud cover and temperatures in the 50s dry up until about four or five o'clock and then Look at this rain and thunder moving in, but because the temperatures are in the 60s, we don't have a ton of energy to work with. So I just don't think we're going to have much in the way of severe weather. Can't rule out a couple of feisty thunderstorms down to the south, maybe over deep east Texas late Thursday night into Friday. But a little bit of a break, maybe at daybreak Friday and then more rain rolls in in waves during the day Friday. And so I think Friday is going to end up being somewhat of a rainy day. Outlook in the rainfall department comes anywhere from about a quarter of an inch to three quarter of an inch. Let's say from Interstate 20 to the north, Interstate 20 corridor, half inch to inch, Deep East Texas, inch and a half to an inch and three quarters. That's on top of what we saw yesterday and last night. So these are some nice, healthy drinks in the lawn department for the grass and for the trees for sure. Weekend forecast damp in the morning, but it does clear out by the afternoon. 64 the high Saturday under a gray sky. A rogue shower can't rule that out. Sunday certainly looks like the better of the two days. A cool morning about 44, but look at that afternoon high. 66 and sunny. Hey, something different in the allergy index today. The tree pollen dropped. The grass pollen also dropped, but the mold spores and that makes sense since it rained went up to into the high category. All right, next 12 hours look like this. I think we're dry for the most part through 9 p.m. Then we start adding in some rain chances around 10 and those rain chances will increase through the overnight hours. Umbrella cast looks something like this. We'll go with a 40% chance of rain tonight, 60% chance of rain tomorrow and an 80% chance of rain on Friday. Baylor Scott and White, Texas Spine and Joint Hospital seven day forecast tomorrow. Mostly cloudy, dry till the evening with a high around 70 periods of rain and thunder Friday 61 Saturday again. Can't rule out a stray shower. Otherwise it is dry. Sunday looks really nice. Just a little chilly 43 by Monday morning. Hey, don't forget to stay on top of the forecast by listening to one of our Alpha Media radio partners or downloading our CBS 19 app.